Howdy again, this is Tubal Cain, the old buggy whip maker. Got a little old technology to show you again today. I wanted to talk a little bit about gyroscopes. Uh, most of us had one of these little toy gyroscopes when we were kids. And I was intrigued by them even as a child. And uh, But they were always a pouting disappointment because you wrapped a string around them and, and uh, that's how you got them to run. And it was always unsatisfactory and they had poor bearings. They didn't spin very long and usually the string tangled up and uh, uh, so you know they just weren't all that good but they used to only cost 59 cents. Uh, here's another one that was a little bit better quality and that was used in a, a school physics lab and uh, with a solid wheel and uh, this was pretty neat until I dropped it and bent it. You can see it doesn't, it wobbles now. Here's another uh, interesting gyroscope. This came out of an airplane something to do with the artificial horizon or something like that. I'm not sure just what it did, but the wind blew into this little hole here and uh, caused the gyroscope to rotate. I run it by uh, running compressed air in there and it runs so fast it kind of scares you like it's going to fly apart and it's just interesting to hold and, and uh, uh, observe it. This was made by Sperry. I think they were one of the biggest makers of gyroscopes. Here's a gyroscope that I made last winter and uh, the wheel is five inches in diameter and I got real ball bearings mounted in each end and these rings are just welded up out of band iron to uh, protect it and support it. Uh, interestingly enough I bought, I, I had a bunch of these wheels and they're quite heavy, they're made of zinc and they came out of Bell and Howell projectors and they're part of the sound system that uh, where the sound is picked up so that it runs at a constant speed, but these have been balanced and uh, run pretty true until you run them at uh, 10,000 RPM and then you realize that they're not balanced all that well, but uh, and there is a vibration in them. This wheel weighs 20 ounces and I got a ball down on this end so that it uh, can kind of dance around on this uh, uh, little stand that I made and serves no purpose other than uh, for a curiosity and uh, in just a second we'll fire this baby up and run it. I like to run my gyroscopes at high speed, so what we got here is my Craftsman die grinder with a, a rubber uh, arbor on the end here. And I'm going to operate this by foot. And I'm just going to run it against the wheel and get her running full blast. I don't know what the speed is. The speed of the die grinder is 25,000, but I, I, this isn't running that fast, but enough to give you a thrill. And when you hang on to this thing here, you, you can feel the resistance to uh, uh, rotation. Rather interesting to play around with. And the grandkids like this, although they can get hurt on this because it weighs quite a bit. Hope you like this little demonstration on homemade gyroscope. Tubal Cain saying so long for now.